Today we are celebrating World Teachers Day and to do this we're going to give a huge shout out to some of our favourite teachers. Mrs Mason who was the mistress in charge with, of girls at Toronto High School, Toronto, and she had a sticker on her front desk that said girls can do anything. Miss Reeves um, at Warnersbury High School because she taught me uh, early in life that it's really important to find what you're good at and what you love and that when you do that it's okay to spend a lot of time on that. This is Mrs Mitchell, she was the laundry lady but she was way more than that. She cared for every single person at that school and in particular in the boarding house. She was a mother for a lot of people that were away from their families and without her my time at St Greg's would have been completely different. Mr Moore, economics was never something that came naturally to me. In fact it was probably my worst ranking subject but Mr Moore always had confidence in me. He pushed me to take on things that were challenging in my life. My mother who was a kindergarten teacher she um, showed me what it means to care for young people and to really commit to your work. Mrs Linda O'Brien who was the principal at Granville Boys High School when I was an early career teacher there. Linda really did shape the way that I viewed teaching and the importance of forming relationships and connections with students, colleagues and community members. I'd like to thank my Year 8 English teacher, Mrs. Thelma Norfleet at Booker T. Washington Junior High School in Suffolk, Virginia, for her help in what's always been a guiding philosophy in when I'm writing or when I'm working on any project. And Mrs. Norfleet taught me, when in doubt, leave it out. I'd like to give a big shout out to Mrs. Tills from St. Joey's in Aberdeen. And the reason for this is because you showed me how to dare to dream.